Amen. Turn with me in your Bibles to Matthew 28. You've heard this from me, but today I'm coming a different way. Because I want to share some things with you today. Matthew, the 28th chapter. I know you have it, because I see you standing with me to your feet for the reading of God's word. Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. The Bible says these words, you've heard them so many times in your life. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority. Yes, sir. Has been given unto me in heaven and earth. Thank you, Jesus. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Thank you, Lord. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Yes. And of the Son. Thank you, Lord. And of the Holy Thank Spirit, you, Lord. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you Thank always. You. Thank you, Lord. Even. Yes, the Lord. End of the earth. Thank Father, you, Lord. Help us understand your word today. Sure enough, Lord Jesus. Because we are in a war. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Father, help open the hearts of those you are speaking to. Yes, Lord. So that they can hear what you're trying to tell Amen. us. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. You Amen. may be seated by the grace of God. If you are here today, you are supposed to hear this word. Amen. If Amen. You are listening in any kind of way, shape, or form, you are supposed to hear this word. Amen. I'm coming to you today as a man who has realized that we are not working hard enough. You better know it. <laughs> and yes, I'm just not Lord. talking about we as in me. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking even just about you as in right direction. That's right. That's right. But I'm talking about the church problem. Amen. We are not near working hard enough. Hallelujah. Jesus. But I can understand why. Because we don't realize that we truly are in a war. All right, now. <laughs> Yes, we don't realize that any time you walk out of these doors of the church, and even a lot of times inside the church, there is a war that is constantly going yes, on. It yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I oh, fear Lord. that if we do not get a hold of this concept quickly, mm -hmm. we are going to be far behind. Yes. Now, that doesn't scare me too bad. The reason being is because... God already said these things were going to happen. He did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But I want to be in the number that we're doing what God says to do. We worry about all these things. Right. We worry about the things of earth mm -hmm. much more than we do in the things of the afterlife. My Lord. My Lord. We yeah, go to church because we want to feel better about ourselves. Hallelujah, Jesus. We go to church because we want the pastor to give me something that's going to just uplift me. Hallelujah, and We Jesus. go to church because we feel like, you know what, he's going to give me a word to help me get that next car I need. No, or, no, no. or, you know, maybe I'm going through some sickness or I'm going through some pain and maybe the pastor has just the right word that will make me feel better. And don't get me wrong, wrong because this word will do that. This it is what will. this word will it do. Will. But if I only gave you that as a pastor, yeah. I will never be shepherding you. I will right, only be man. pacifying you. <laughs> now, I want you to hear me good because you won't it. like what I'm going to say on some of this. So just That's brace it. yourself. Hold on tight because everything's going to be all right. We you have to understand know, that this life, we can't be pacified the uh -huh. whole time. That's right. And that's expect right. to get that's, that's, something. That's right. That's right. That's we that's cannot right. be pacified no, no, and think no. God is going to be pleased with the that's actions right. that we that's have. Right. That's and yes, right. you are looking at a pastor who says, yes, we are human. Yeah. Yes, there are things that's going to happen. We may mess up. That doesn't mean we go out and just go all willy-nilly crazy. You better know it. That don't mean we go out and just sin, 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 and be happy, happy, that's happy right. because we human. I want to make sure I clarify this right. because I have some people that might think, well, you know what, pastor say we human, so it's okay. Well, no, no, no. 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 Because even John, even uh, Paul said in Romans, in Romans 6, and I believe 8, mm -hmm. he says that, should we just go out and That's do what, what we said. want? That's God forbid. God forbid. So let me make sure I clarify. Amen. But I also want to tell you, just because you think you're doing everything right, uh -huh. if you're not telling people about Christ, then you're not doing yeah. everything right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
God. If you are not edifying Jesus Christ and helping people to understand that they need Christ today, that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, then you're still not doing everything right. Don't think because you keep your dress down or you might eat the right food or, or maybe you don't cuss as much or maybe you don't give a lie but once a year. Let me tell you something. If you are not telling people about Jesus Christ, you are still not doing everything right and you are just as guilty Amen. if you're going to look at it being guilty. Amen. Yes, sir. And I don't believe he's called to con condemn us. I believe he says yes, that uh, he is lifting us up. Even yes. if, That's why he says that we Thank can go to him and, and, and if we confess our sins, he is that's faithful he and just to forgive us. Said. But we have to remember, don't just look at yes. just what you hear. Amen. You need to read what it yes. says. Yes, it does. Amen. Yes, sir. Because Amen. we're all sinning and coming short of the that's glory right. of God that's if right. we're not telling people yes, about Christ. Lord. Yeah, you that's not a you know, yes, it is because Hallelujah. the Bible Jesus. the Bible, uh, if you understand the clarity the, the understand the understand the justification of sin, or I should say understand sin, right. you will find out that it means missing the mark. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It doesn't mean you're doing all this bad stuff. It means you're not doing what you should that's be doing right. too. That's right. That's, that's a right. sin also. That's missing the mark. That's it. Chill and down. it is time for us to stop missing the mark. God Chill is down. not just saving us so that we can be okay. All right now. That's and watch right. this. That's God right. didn't just save us so we can go to heaven. That's either. right. A lot of you all are living this life because you're scared to be on earth and want to go to heaven. Let me tell you something. That is not what he saved you That's for. exactly right. Don't get me wrong, Jesus. heaven is nice. And I thank God for it. Hallelujah. When y'all get to heaven, yeah. for the day of rejoicing that will be. That's yes, right. that's wonderful. That's right. That's right. But you might, you don't know how long you're going to be here. You got to get it right here. Sure yeah. You got to get sure some things enough. right here. Yeah. Right and Amen. as soon as you realize that this is a war that's going on, yeah. the better it will be. That's right. You see, some that's of you right. all are here today because God wants you to hear this word. Yeah. You all willy-nilly doing what you're doing, yeah. just living life and thinking it's all right. Yeah. But it's not because he's not pleased with what Amen. we're doing. Amen. Amen. I know it. Yeah, Hold on, I told you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, let me tell you a couple things I want you to get out of this. Y'all know that we're called. When he was raising these disciples, he was raising these disciples in these three years to prepare them for That's the right. war That's that he right. knew was going That's on. That's right. Mm -hmm. no. Not just so that they could see people saved, no, but no, to no, bring no, people no. back over. So I'm going to tell you a dream. And I have never told you. If too much. I might have told three people this dream all my life, mm -hmm. but I believe this dream weighs heavy in my life of what I supposed to be doing, and I don't feel like I'm doing what I'm called to do. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about this dream, okay? Mm -hmm. I had this dream about 30 years ago. I was uh, in this dream. It was a big city. It was a huge city, tall buildings, mm -hmm. and there was a big dam that was separating me and the group of people that was with me from that city. And in this dam, there was over this dam was one small bridge that maybe one or two people could go over at one time. It was small. And in this big city over there, there was a lot of people. I mean, there was a lot of people just, just living, uh, just uh, not really caring about what's going on, just doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But I noticed in the dam that was in between me and the city, that there was just, a, there was water. The water was speeding up. And as the water was speeding up, it was turning from water to red. It was starting to turn to blood. Mm -hmm. And as I was looking at this river going down, uh, I noticed that the people were still just doing what they were doing, mm -hmm. but there were less and less people. And the less people there were over there, the faster the water was riding. Yeah, and the more it turned red. And then it went from just <laughs> water and blood to bodies going down this river. My Lord. I'm on the other side here. And all I can remember is that God told me, well, I remember God telling me, we've got to go and get those people from over there and get them over on this side. And I 
The funniest thing is I had hair back then when I had this dream. Right, right, right. I should tell you how long it's been. Right, right. And, right. But in this dream, I was bald-headed, and I had on a camouflage outfit, and a group of people that were with me, they were with me to do this job, which to go over and grab those people from that other side mm -hmm. and bring them over this narrow bridge. And the more we went, it was hard getting them, but we would find one and two and three people, and we would bring them over to the other side. And by the time the end of my dream was done, it was only three or four people over there still just moving like nothing mm -hmm. was going on. Mm -hmm. And this river now is filled with bodies streaming down, not bodies Lord. and blood. Not now, I know Lord. that's not what you want to hear on a Sunday morning, but I'm going to tell you something. That dream stuck with me, and I think about that dream almost literally every single day because for whatever reason, I believe that dream is what God has called me to do. Okay. This is well before I came into pastoring. This is well before I even became a minister in the church. Mm -hmm. I believe God called me to see people not only uh saved, but literally rescued from a war that is keeping people in a trance as to what this world wants them to believe instead of what God is trying to tell them, which is the truth. That is why the Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man will come to the Father but by Jesus. But the problem is, we got I got a team of people over here, but they're not moving. I got a team of people over on this side of the river that has power to help those people over from that transient worldish way or to bring them over this narrow bridge over to where Christ has given a safe house. But I have a team that's not moving. That team has to get up and decide to move. Why? Because Jesus said he's given us the power to do so. Jesus said he's given us the power to move people out of their hurt, move people out of their slum, move people out of their mentality, move people out of their poorness, move people out of their plight into a better way. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. That's what he said. But he also said these words. He said that I will give life, but I will also give life more abundantly. A lot of us Christians, we're over here on this side where it's safe, but we're not living an abundant life. You think abundant life is, life is more houses. That's not what an abundant life is. If that was the case, all these uh, disciples and this, these apostles in this Bible would have been living a whole lot better life than to be being chased after being killed. Obviously, that's not what he meant. It's not, you think it's about driving a better car. You think it's about easy eating fancy food in fancy restaurants. But that's not what it's about. What it's about is having the idea of and understanding the joy of seeing people saved, seeing people living better, understanding that you have a better life and you have an opportunity to help others have a better life. But you sit here on your blessed assurances, just sitting here doing nothing. When are you going to get up and do something? That is what I'm asking you today. When are you going to get up and start moving the way God has called us to move? It's, a, it's enough of us sitting in churches all around the world getting fat off of the word. Just getting fat. Not burning no energy and taking the word out and sharing it to other people. But we're sitting up here getting spiritually fat and not sharing. I call that a waste of food. If you do that at home, you'll call it a waste of food. They'll call us, uh, they'll call us obese because of the fact we are unhealthy. There's a way that you can know the word and be unhealthy with it. How? Because you're knowing the word but not sharing the word that's how it's not just about you i keep trying to tell folks this this life is not just about us it's about what we can do for others and the best thing we can do for others is share jesus christ
Jesus said these words, all authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. What he's simply saying is, I have all the power from every direction that you can have it. Here as well as my Father. Here as well as heaven. And now I'm going to give you the power. And this is what you're going to do with that power. This power is not just to prophesy about what you can get. This power is not just to be able to accumulate wealth. This power is not just about the spirit about being able to speak in tongues. This power is to do this, to go there for. That's make disciples. Y'all might remember these points from the past. Make disciples. That's number one. He said to go there for. Since I gave you the power, therefore go. In other words, is as you are going, remember that you're in the war. As you are going, remember that you are in your camouflage. As you are going, remember that you can save innocent civilians. Well, not innocent, because none of us are innocent, are we? We can save civilians from a life, uh, uh, an afterlife of hell, an afterlife of, of, of Satan, an afterlife of, of demons. We can save them from that, and we can put them in the glorious and marvelous life of Jesus. Jesus Christ. We can do that, but we got to get our minds together first to remember that we're called to make disciples before we're called to do anything else. That's why Paul, the apostle Paul, could be whipped with cat and nine tails and still be joyful. That's why Paul Peter can be hung, as they believe, upside down on the cross, but was still happy that he was able to stand in front of anyone and proudly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is why Matthew, who was a sinner because he was a publican, the one that they hated the worst, could proudly write a whole book and say, I know what he can do. These prophecies are true. Jesus is who he says he is. And if you don't believe me, you just messed up because I have the proof here. And he even told us to go. We can do this. This is why they can do that. Yes. Yet we got the churches today. All they all they do today is just preach about what I can get me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not going to condemn any church today. All I'm going to say is if you're a church, act like one. All right. Preach. Preach. Amen. And right direction, that doesn't excuse right. us. If we're a church, Amen. act like one. Right. Right. If we're a church, we got to get out here and witness. Amen. If we're a church, we've got to help people become more involved in church. Yeah. We have to be better in having activities so that people can be involved and, get, and grow into yeah. this thing. Yeah. We got several people in here right now with children yeah. and can't bring them because we don't even have our youth thing together. Yeah. Why is it? That we're not doing what we call to do. Don't think I'm going to go out to other churches and not talk about right direction. Amen. We've got to get it together, church. Amen. The Bible says, go therefore and what? Make disciples. And he says of all nations. But what sense of you going to all nations if we can't get it right at home? Amen. Now we've got to do that. But what sense is if we're not at least starting at home. Amen. Now I'm grateful for all of you who made it here today. But I would almost guarantee half of us in this room might have invited one person to church the whole year. If that. Amen. And if we can be honest, it's a hard time for us to get ourselves here on some mornings. <laughs> And we need to help. The Bible says here, make disciples of all nations. Well, maybe we have to start neighborhood by neighborhood. Maybe we can start right here in the West. What is this? West Connect? Sweetwater. Sweetwater. And then go over to West Connect and go over to all these different areas. We can go to the north side then and then the south side and all these other sides. But we got to start home first. Amen. What are we going to do about it, church? baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He says we have to not only make disciples, but we have to mark disciples. In other words, marking is to, is to brand or show people who it is. Number one, he marks people through the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
When you're saved, you receive the Holy Ghost. The Bible tells us, and I'm going to change, you don't have to turn there over in Ephesians, the first chapter, so that you can understand how he first marks us before then we do a outward mark, Amen. which is uh, which is uh, water baptism. The scripture Amen. says right here, he says uh, in verse 13, in whom you have trusted after you've heard the word of truth, the what? The gospel of your salvation in whom also now have a believer, now saved, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit that was promised. Amen. Amen. That's your sealing. That's your mark. That's a mark directly from God to let you know that you're his. But here's the thing. It shouldn't just let you know that Holy Ghost in you should let everybody else around you know also. Amen. You see, how is it that we could go and save people? Yeah. See people saved, brother, through Christ. How is it that we could go out here and witness when our lives are all jacked up? All right, we think that because of the fact, yeah, you could do what you want to do. I'm not telling you that you can't. Even if I even say you could do what you want to do, but what kind of witness is that to others who needs to be saved? What kind of witness is that to others that need to be able to see who Christ really is? Yeah, you can do what you want to do. But we got to get this thing right so that people can see the, the Jesus in us, Amen. not the us within us. Amen. Can I say that again? Because y'all might have missed that. We need to let people see the Jesus within us and not the us within us. Yeah. You see, when we put Jesus first, yeah. when we act like according to the Bible tells us to act, yeah. then we love the way we supposed to love. We give the way we supposed to give. We yeah. show love and kindness the way we supposed to show love and kindness. Yeah. Then people might want to say, well, you know what? I want a little bit of that Jesus they got. Yeah. When we show that we're not worried every day about something or another, maybe somebody could say, well, you know what? I want to be in that position, too. Well, I'm not worried every day. Let me get a little bit of that Jesus they got. Amen. When they're not stressed out and when they're not hurting and when they're not, you know, we're all going to hurt at some point. Amen. But if I could just get you to understand this point, it's not the fact that we hurt. It's how we go through the hurt that we're hurting. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because if we're hurting and we do everything the world do, uh -huh. then how will people see Jesus? Amen. But we're going to go through some hurt. Amen. Sister Cassie, you know it. We're going to go through some hurt. There's nothing we can do about that. Because the Bible says that it rains on the what? The just and the unjust. Just because you saved doesn't mean you're not going to go through anything. But how are you going to deal with it? Are you going to pray your way through it, or are you going to cuss your way through it? Which one are you going to do? What you say, cuss? Oh, I thought I heard somebody say cuss. Maybe it was Sister Banks when she walked in the door all on the show. Yes, sir. My Sister Banks don't cuss. Y'all put all that out. That's, that's right. Listen to me. you got to, we, we got to grab this. Yeah. How do you go through the stuff that yeah, you go right. through? Yeah. How do you handle? You see, James wasn't kidding when he said that you have to count it all yes, joy. Sir. Yes, sir. You yes, go sir. through all these various yeah. and diverse yeah. temptations. Oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because yes, as sir. I preached weeks ago, this whole thing is just a gem of faith yeah. that every day we're building. That's right. Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't work out in the gym, you can't get stronger in the gym. Yeah, it's no, just no, as simple no, no, no. as yeah. that. Amen. 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 Too much carrying on in the church where they won't, they people won't be way instead of how God says. What you say? Be. What you say? What you say? And I for one, we got a name right direction. I know y'all like the word Baptist in it, but I'm not worried about the Baptist part. Right. We are we are the Church of Jesus Christ Amen. first and foremost. Amen. Amen. And if we're gonna claim the name right direction, yeah. should we seemingly be the first to be going in what? The right direction? Right. 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 
Yes, Lord. The Bible says baptizing them. So now we know that we're baptizing the Holy Spirit, but then he says mm -hmm. that we should be baptized in water to show outwardly what happens That's inside right. of us. That's, That's right. what baptism is all about. Amen. That's what water Amen. baptism is all about. It's to show the change that's, that's within right. us. Now, y'all might say, well, what does this have to do with war? It has everything to do with war. Because if you go into any type of military, you going through a basic training. Yeah. You going through a boot camp that's first. Right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And what boot camp does is it takes you and it makes you, it helps you to forget everything you thought you knew out in the world. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the first two weeks is the most grueling. Ah. That's what they say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they Jesus. bark at you in your face and they make you do push ups until the sun goes down and right then Lord. right back up again Lord. when the sun comes up. And what? even when you think you did something right, yeah. they say, Get down and give me this and that and the other anyway, again, anyway. My Lord, my Lord. But in the end of that time, mm -hmm. then they start training. That's and right. the, toward the end, or toward the middle, and toward the end, they start treating you more with respect That's because right. they want you to now understand what your training is for. God has given us the word, and He's given us a pastor. Consider me right now as a physical, basic, and basic. A uh, uh, physical drill socket right. that the Lord has given you to help you understand the word a little better yeah. so that you could be stronger. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be getting you out here, out here in the world to do more right. spiritual exercises yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so that you could get stronger in yeah. this more. So when you graduate, right. so to That's speak, right. I, you don't need me to show you and hold your hand and yeah. do everything, yeah. but you can go out here on your own. You yeah. see, you've got to understand these yeah. points that I'm making for you. Character is is what you do when I can't see you. You better believe that. You better believe that. Then if I train you right, then you're going to go out here and still do what God says to do because now your character has been built. And no one has to hold your hand and nobody has to look at you in order for you to do the right thing. That's right. That's right. That includes telling people about Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. And the Bible says, uh, how do we, we baptize them in the name of the Father, we make disciples, then we mark disciples, and then we mature disciples. Amen. Take a look at the Amen. scripture here. It says, teaching them to observe what? All oh, things that yeah. I have taught you. That's right. That's and you right. see, that's reciprocated because as Jesus taught them, then they taught the next crew that's that right. they saw saved. Amen. And the churches we were born through Pentecost. Yeah. And through those churches, they saw people saved. Yeah. And then when it spread like fire because they were persecuted Christians and they went all over the world like that's God right. said to that's do. Right. That's right. Then they started spreading churches in other places and they reciprocated right. the same teaching. Yeah. You see, this is what it's about. And that goes on not just from place to place, uh -huh. but it goes on from generation that's to right. generation that's to right. generation. That's right. That is why you're saved today. Yeah. But will it stop in this generation? Because we won't do what we're called to do. No, stop. No, stop. no it will not. We've got to continue to help mature That's disciples. Right. Right. You see, I've always said that a pastor really can't be a pastor if he can't teach That's because right. shepherding is helping grow. That's shepherding right. is being That's able right. to direct yeah. for those who are needing leadership. And all of us yeah. need leadership yeah. in some way. Yeah. Yeah. So if right. I'm not teaching you the yeah. way this Bible says, then you can't go out there and teach others That's when right. you see them say. And That's, That's right. why when you even see people say, don't leave them stranded out there. Yeah. Amen. When you see them saved, if you can't get them the right direction, yes. help lead them to some church yes. that's a decent oh. church Amen. that will be a word-based church that that's will right. give them the word of God. That's right. Amen. 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 Teaching them to observe all things that yeah. I've com commanded you. And this yeah. is the beautiful thing. This last point yeah. is uh, uh, we are to motivate disciples yeah. because he says after that, and lo, I am with you always. Oh, that should okay. be the best motivation ever. That's that right. whatever you do in the name of Jesus, yeah. he is with you. Yeah. Whatever you do in the name of Jesus, he has you. He will comfort you in your yeah. earth. He will guide you when you feel lost. The Bible says 
Yes. Thy word is a lamp yes. unto my feet and a light unto my path. Yes. Some of y'all want to know right now why you go through so much uh, mess in your life. Uh, because you're not letting him guide you. Uh, why? Right. Because you're not even doing what he's called yes. you to do. Well, yes. I pray. Well, I read. Yes. So are you witnessing? Right. Are you sharing your yes. faith? Are you just getting spiritually yes. fed on? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. I am with you always. Always. Thank you, Lord. Wouldn't Thank it you, Lord. be nice to know that when you go out, even if people spit on you and call you out your name because uh -huh. you're telling them about Christ, yep. that you know the one and only yeah. wise Father, Jesus, is with you yeah. all the way? Wouldn't yeah. that be good Amen. to know? Yes, sir. I don't yeah. want to feel like, and I'm just going to be flat out transparent. Yeah. I don't want to feel like I cannot prepare the people that God has called me to lead, yes, lead right. into this war, yep. and they are ill prepared. That's right. Amen. Amen. Why do you think That's I right. get up here and I know. give you what I know That's in this right. world? What That's God right. has given me to give yeah. you in this world. Yeah. Why do you think I've said it for all these years yeah. so that I could be able to understand the best I could so that when the Lord gives yeah. me through the Spirit what He I needs me to know, Jesus. that I can give you a fullness thereof yeah. instead of uh, just coming up here half right. cocked right. every right. week like right. some, right. some people do. Yeah, they do. That's exactly right. right. Speaking on anybody no, sir, but that's the truth. It's the truth. Sure enough. Because I don't need to feel like I am making you ill prepared. That's right. That's right. That's right. God is looking for a few good men and a few good women to take care of his family. He's yes, looking Lord. for at least a, there's still a remnant of the church, I believe, that is still in this thing because of what God says to be in it for. Yes, yes, we've had Lord. a lot of different organizations in the church, a lot of different associations in the church fall. Uh, yes. I don't need to name them. It's all over the place from all kinds of scandals and all mm -hmm. kinds of things like that. And let me tell you something, as long as the church is made up of people, there's always going to be potential failures. That's but right. let me tell you something. We can still rise up out of the ashes. Yes, Lord. Hey. We can still rise up and, really? and, and, and be in the sun because the yes, sun is guiding us. Yes, we don't have to be down in the yes. rubble. We can come out and still say, listen, the Jesus Christ is still the son of God. Yes. That does not change. Yes, we can still Lord. say that for God so loved the come world on. that he gave his only begotten yes. son and that whosoever Lord. believes in shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I can't push the foot with y'all no more. We have got to get out here, and we have got to deliver this gospel strong. We've got to deliver this gospel with passion, and we've got to deliver this gospel with compassion. Letting the world know that we love them, and we do not want to see them go to hell. But we also want to live, see them live an abundant life here and be part of this war, and remind them that even though they're part of the war, that the battle is not ours, right, but it's right. the Lord's. Yeah, right yeah. God is looking for a, yes, a few good yes, men. Yes, Who will enlist today? Right. Who will enlist in this, in this platoon? Who yeah. will enlist in this army of the Lord? Yeah. I'm a soldier, we like to say, yeah. in the army of the Lord. Yeah. But my question is, are you are you really uh, are you really fighting this war? Yeah. Or are you still in your bunk bed in your barracks? No, waiting no. on something to happen. No. Let me tell you something. I got news for you. Amen. It's already happening. Yeah. The war is already going on. Yeah. Satan is already on the prowl. Yeah. He's already looking to and fro. You already yeah. got the internet trying to shut down Christianity. No, no. You already no, no. got schools for years and years trying to debunk the truth of Jesus right. Christ. Right. You have got to decide to get up and get your weapon yeah. and join this war. Uh, no, the man. weapon and all that we fight is not the eight change no, no. for Yes. It is not the Beretta 9. It is the woman un unadulterated word of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. This is my weapon. Yes. This is what I fight with. Yes. This and the Holy Ghost within me. Yes. Because this is the only way yes. we're yes. going to win this war. Yes. That's right. That's right. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Go and pray. That's what I need you to do. Yes. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank, thank you, Father. Lord. I know that this is a war that we're fighting, yes. Father. And I thank you, Father, 
for getting your people prepared. The old church knew. That's why we could see, they could sing those songs. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. But we seem, Lord, to have forgotten, Father, that there is a war going on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help us, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Remind us that you've given us the strength. Yes, and Lord. even when we feel weak, Father, Don't know. Don't know. you said that the strength is within you. Yes, Lord. You've given us an armor Hallelujah, Jesus. according to Ephesians 6. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us to properly use Thank it through you right your word. Now. Thank you right Through the now. preaching that you've given, Father. Yes, Lord. And through the heart, through the Holy Ghost that you've in placed within us. In the name of Jesus. In the name in of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. There could be someone in here.